Ten seconds remaining. Ah, oh, come on. Team Secrets turn to ban. Team Liquids turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Star Ladder I League Star Series 13 action. We are in stage two, Group B action here as we see Team Liquid going toe to toe against Team Secret. I'm Kyle Guy for Beyond the Summit. I'm going to be joined again, of course, by Scant on the remote. And well, here we are, Scant, into game number two. Game number one didn't fare so well for Secret. They made a bold early pickup of a Huskar in the first phase without a dazzle behind it. And it was a hard, hard life for Envy. Weeha had some fun little plays, but it just was not enough to withstand the heavy pressure of Liquid. Let's see what Secret are going to be doing for game number two. It's interesting. Yeah. What do you wager they might have to do or change you? Well, it's when Envy needs to have a better game. I mean, it's not just about the Huskar. Like, we, I, I said in the previous game that he's arguably the best carry player in the world, and I think that the whole Reddit and Twitter and Twitch chat went crazy. Really angry about my saying that. I mean, he certainly wasn't in the previous game. He had a poor game. The hero didn't work out, but he also had some like completely failed omnit toggles and decisions. So I think he needs to be in like a, a better headspace in this game, because we are had a great game. But these days, it kind of usually comes down to two play two cores both having a de at least one having a decent game and the other one having a great game or something like that. And it's when Envy was nowhere in the previous game. Ten seconds remaining. Hopefully they can change that up, get him something he is used to. How about an Ember Spirit? Five That's the classic remaining. secret way. Open up your one-two punch with a something plus Winter Ember. That, that's, that would be swell. Winter Wyvern, yeah. all right. We didn't. We have not seen much of Winter Wyvern even today or maybe yesterday. Been very, very first band worthy. But here we see Secret able to kind of gobble it up for themselves. So... And it's also a nice takeaway because I mean I'm sure Liquid would love to have the Wyvern if it made its way through. Yeah, definitely. And Ember Spirit could be a nice pickup. Maybe it's when he's a bit tired of playing the hero wants to try something different. Another thing we haven't discussed: we're we're close to a new patch. This is a, a qualifier for a land that's not a major or TI. Europe is also a very close region at the moment. There's a lot of top teams that can take games of each other. People are asking for explanations why this team is being upset by that team. The, part of the reality of it is that there's just, you know, there's a lot of strong teams at the top of Europe at the moment, so they're going to be trading blows back and forth in these tournaments. Well, they don't decide to go for the Ember. They get another secret trademark here in, in the Bane grab. And uh, it does offer a lot of potential in lane dominance and maybe even some possible setup there. Liquid, we could see them even just go back once again for the classic Matama Men Gyrocopter at this point. He may, may or may not be sick of playing the freaking thing, but the fact of the matter is he does a pretty damn good job. And you put that together with a Dark Seer and you have some. You might have the same formula that we saw from pretty much game number one. Also on the Good. side, happy cap, happy Kappa Claws, everyone. The, this is a wonderful time scan. They released a new emote, so all the chat is going to be distracted with the emote. They won't care how good or bad of a job we do, so this is great. That's great. Is it a Christmas emote? That... Merry Christmas. Happy Kappa Claws, apparently. Queen. I great. tried it, I misspelled um, it, and I, I hurt myself, so go ahead. I, I think... <laughs> I, th I think Liquid unsure about Jara in this game because both the supports can ulti him through BKB, which means that there's already going to be a big target on his head. That said, I mean, that's, that's the case against Queen of Pain as well. Although we don't know what the Queen of Pain is. I think Liquid today ran a four quap, but before today they'd been running support quap almost the entire week. So it could be either one of the two. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point on the Gyrocopter that is heavy valued, and you're right, there's. Unlike most teams, Liquid pull out the Queen of Pain here and things are still just as flexible as they want it. So they could still just benefit on moving on, picking up a 
a great support that's still left over for them. Um, obviously, Secret haven't really shown too much of their hand on what the game plan is for them. But we'll see here. Second phase, that's where things always get a bit sticky and heroes creep through that you forget about, you know, a certain, like, brood mother, let's say. I don't foresee another Huskar, but it could be done, even on the side of Secret, who knows. Um, or, you know, or respect Ember Spirit could end up coming in and showing its ugly face. I'm interested to see what Secret are planning to land against that Darkseer, because that's actually where it's annoying V's Huskar game started so poorly last game, the, the power of the early game Darkseer, and initially it might have looked like the Huskar was getting the better trade, but they turned it around and then just became unlanable for him. And Bane, a hero that's... part of the reason you pick the hero is that it can kind of zone any off laner, or mm -hmm. sometimes even mid laner, wherever you put it. I think Darkseer is one of the few heroes that Bane struggles to 1v1 zone. Darkseer can just kind of decide to take that fight and, and win it. I'm sure that's something they got to be aware of, and if that was the case, if they were hoping that they got someone good to zone back someone like a Darkseer, which they already saw the pick, I mean, they they could have just gone like a Disruptor, which is something they do favor. I feel like Disruptor's pretty damn good at stopping a Darkseer with the help of the Glimpse, but... I feel like maybe ben, then Bane is going to be utilized elsewhere, perhaps even just like the mid lane, just in case they can secure a better start for Wii. Uh, but we'll see nonetheless. Secret after all, I'm sure that it's in good, capable hands. But I like this. Respect ban. This is a good one. Something secret, you know, a few teams do go for is getting Misery on that Nyx Assassin. And they love to go for it when teams pick up combo heroes like, like uh, Darkseer. So it's just Liquid still doing their homework. Whereas some teams may have slept on that fact, and then next thing you know, Secret have a very good comfort hero for themselves. Reserve time. Yeah, definitely. The mana burn very good against Quap and Doxy, and just the Carapace and Impale to disrupt the combos, as you said. <laughs> Look at that, Secret ban, that's still good. It's just like, you don't want to play against that hero. That was the last pick for Liquid last game. I think Secret maybe mm -hmm. were surprised by it, because the hero was already undying for supports. But we know that Liquid have been experimenting quite a lot with their supports recently. Um, another one being the Queen of Pen they already picked up. But since there won't be a Night Stalker in this game, and quite possibly not a Bounty Hunter, we, we, we won't have those crazy vision shenanigans where, you know, at various points different teams just have like, basically unfair amounts of vision. It brings yeah. it back to a more standard Dota 2 landscape. Mm, so where, where did Secret want to take it? At this point, then, uh, do they just dive right in to grab up a succulent envy treat here? Still can't help but continue to throw out the name like the the Ember Spirit, uh, unless this Queen of Pain gets a nice time Orchid, he might not run into too much trouble. And we, like I said, don't even know if it's going to be a core Queen of Pain. If it's if it's not the core, then he wouldn't have to worry about something like that. But still, it is... without Liquid either showing their hand, it's it's hard to say. It's interesting that Secret ignored Slaughter last game and seem like they might be ignoring it again here. It's a hero that they prioritized a lot in Frankfurt, and I think people felt like in the Grand Finals they maybe over-prioritized it, and it didn't do so. It didn't do enough for them. So, it could be that they're off it a bit, but Shadow Fiend's, yeah, clearly not off that, and that's gonna be the pickup. Shadow Fiend, uh, I think... We, how can we forget about Shadow Fiend? He just wasn't even touched <laughs> yeah. at all! That's so crazy! Like the hero oh. of this metagame, <laughs> Shadow Fiend. Yeah, right? Wow! That's a that's a that doesn't happen very often. Second phase Shadow Fiend. I mean, it took a lot of time for Secret to, to pick it up. I wonder if they were just kind of like, oh, whoa, whoa, Shadow Fiend's out there. Didn't even realize it. Well, they get it yeah. now. And oh, you know what? I would love Liquid to go for at this point. Maybe like like a Spirit Breaker. It fits Jarek's profile. Very good with Darkseer and Ion Shell, and is a problem for Shadow Fiend mid lane. That could be something. Yeah, Spirit Breaker good with Darkseer, right? And the the only thing that works against Spirit Breaker is that Winter Wyvern is like. One of the better heroes at, at guarding against Spirit Breaker ganks, because you, uh, that spell called, you called Embrace, your ally, and then Spirit Breaker's like, okay, I don't exist, because he can't do anything through that. Um, but that doesn't, that's not necessarily, like, the size of here. I think we, I think we could see it. it. It fits well with the Queen of Pain and the Darks here. The one limiting fact about the Shadow Fiend for Secrets is that more than likely we are playing it. And that has changed the dynamic slightly because a lot of the time I, I think that Eternal Envy is prioritized in the team and we are as like the, the plan B, mm -hmm. which ended up having to be the plan A last game. But um, I, I think Eternal Envy can play Shadow Fiend, but I think we're much more likely to see it being Weeha and that means Eternal Envy has to usually, usually the hero picked with the Shadow Fiend is kind of the secondary, might become the main carry later on, but for the most part will be the secondary carry. Yeah. We see it similar in teams like EG. Like sometimes Arteezy will 
take over for the Shadow Fiend. He even has pulled it off in the mid lane if necessary. But yeah, Secret's one of those teams that if necessary, they can make those kind of adjustments. More likely we'll see it on Wii in the mid lane. But if uh, the opportunity presents itself and Wii needs to take rain on something a bit dramatic then or Envy, then they'll make the swap. But here we see now they still need to get that Misery grab. We threw out the name Slardar before, which could be a valued option to them. I could just as easy, though, see seems like Liquid pick up like a, a, a Badden or something to respond. He's very good against the Bane and the Slardar. So, and you don't want to get a Clockwork now because you get a Clockwork into Ember a Ruby. Spirit. They're going to go for the oh. RTZ Ember Spirit. There it is. The the Envy Ember Spirits. And that's, I mean, may, may, maybe they'll do me a favor now and support my view. That's, cause people got upset. I said Envy might be arguably the best carry player in the world. And I feel like some of the games he plays Ember Spirit, if you don't say that, people get upset with you because it's like, you know, the masses are just like in awe of the players that he makes on the hero sometimes. So definitely with Ember Spirit and Shadowfiend put together on this team, they've pretty much got the late game. They've also got Bane and, and Winter Wyvern, whose ulties go through BKBs, so yeah. I think Secret, even without seeing their last pick, they've more or less secured the late game. And Kiel is straight into Ember Spirit. Yeah, what? Hello? I mean, I thought that was like one of the, the you know, the known rights to Dota is just, oh, uh, yeah. Do PL into an Ember Spirit. That's just a big no-no. In -no. fact, you make sure that Ember Spirit is banned or just not a possibility at that point. But Liquid just rip off their shirt and they're like, "We'll take it on head on. We don't care." Uh, maybe feeling like that the rest of the team doesn't have a really good way, but they even have a Wyvern. I don't know, Scan. How are we feeling about this PL pick? I'm uh, I'm a bit I'm a bit perplexed right now. So the PL Ember thing is complicated, and I know that around the time of TI PPD said something. As directors, you don't pick PL into Ember Spirit, but I, I feel like Ember Spirit peaks a bit later than PL in terms of his like actual farm and peak, and he's only mm. going to be a counter to PL once he has a bunch of items, a so Battle Fury, oh. Daedalus, etc. Um, before he has those items, I think PL is actually a bit of a problem for Ember Spirit and for everyone else in his team here, yeah? and I think that the PL is more likely to safely get that peak quickly on, so it's not necessarily a, a suicidal pick to take PL into Ember Spirit. At the same time, I agree with you. The Shadow Fee and the Winston Wyvern both work quite nicely against the Phantom Lancer. Yeah. Only the Bane really has no answer to to Phantom Lancer, but it's to me it's just like a sign that that's a hero they want to pick up. That's with the kind of momentum they want to go for, the the timings they want to go for, the way their entire strategy is going to sync up, and just not too concerned about the Ember which I think is okay if you're going to control the game. But wow, it's. <laughs> You know what? Misery's I I want to I want to applaud that that ban from Liquid was wonderful. That they I bet you anything they wanted that Magnus so bad for Miz right there. And Liquid no. And, you know Ember and Magnus do go hand in hand, and they had the Misery hero last. And now we're going to see Misery on a different hero. Have we ever seen Misery play Timber Spirit or Timber Saw rather? I don't think I have personally ever seen him play it. I know lately it's been a hot trend for Team EG and Sumail, but. Back in the offlane position, outside of like Ice Ice Ice, we don't get to see the hero very often, so I think I would remember <laughs> Misery playing him. Do you know any any better? Like, is, Have you seen him play it at all? This is going to be interesting. He's a pretty high skill cap hero, you know? It's not this patch, so... Must have been quite a long time ago. And it is okay. it has been Timbersaw being picked a lot in the save lane in recent except by Ice SS plays the North Lane. I think Misery is certainly a capable enough player to do it. He oh, yeah. the start of his career back in Dota One, he was actually always playing in those kind of flashy things. Like he used to be known for his Marana, I think mostly for like hitting arrows and leaping to disjoint things and so technically speaking, I'm sure he's got the skill set to play the Timbersaw. Oh for sure. I'm not gonna say like or or we should be in for a fun treat or whatever. It's just, wow, this is, you know, secret. It's it's match point for them. They drop this liquid 2-0 secret, and they're, they're going to be pulling out something a bit a bit new. Ten now, of course, they can. Me. They might have practiced this in scrim, and he has been, you know, Five maybe playing in his pub play a bit. I'm just making the obvious note that this will be misery, you know, in quite a while his first time playing the Timbersaw in a professional game so I'm very eager to see how it goes. I love the hero. I think he's one of the best crowd pleasers in the game to watch. So the other, the other downside of it though is that it's very also obvious when things are not going well and you maybe misplay a bit. So we'll see how the game's going to go on here. Liquid though, with their very confident 
draft, Matama Man maybe had a say in it, you know, scant, but he's like, give me PL. I don't care that they have an Ember Spirit. I don't care that they have all this clear and the opportunity to get even more clear in this Timber Saw. I still want to play it. How are we feeling? Match on match now with all five picks already out there. I, I like Secrets Draft. I think that, you know, maybe Ember Spirit's not going to counter PL too early, but Timber Saw certainly will. Shadow Fiend's got that AoE damage as well. There's the Winter Wyvern. The game goes late, we already said. It's, it, it, Barely clear that secret or favored. So, just about this early game, and what there's gonna be a attempt on pilot. I know it's, it's gonna fail after all that hiding. Yeah, they like hid anything. in the trees, like the lost boys there, but they were not able to grab a hold of anyone. And pilot, I will be able to make it away barely. But did they walk out at least with planting any wards? They got the one sentry down below to block out the pole camp, which is okay. And there is no sentries right now that I can see in the hands of anyone on Liquid. So that camp is going to be blocked for good. And they're going to instead look for a possible skirmish here at the start of the game. Two Ion Shells already out. Secret, we don't want any part of that. So they'll hand that one over to Liquid. And you know what? It looks like Kuro is going to get the one at the top. So this will be two runes for Liquid. Very nice. And the uh, Secret are doing the what, what's now become a classic Secret strategy. It's just all in and... Misery in the safe lane. The previous game was a bit messed up. It's annoying we got an early death, and Misery was actually giving space to Pilot Eye in that lane. But it's gonna be more the, the standard setup we're used to seeing from Secret in this game. Now the 2v2 mid lane begins. One that you don't see very often on the Liquid side is Kuro on a support Queen of Pain dancing around with uh, Fots and his Viper. If this was a pub, I'd be like, they're, they're raging right now and they can't figure out who wants to play mid, but... This is definitely just a, an alternative that Liquid have pulled out time and time again, the, the support co-op here. This is just yeah, going to be so fun to see. Like I said last game about Paralyzed Bounty Hunter getting the, the Bounty in level 1, it's also very important that Kuro got 1 this game, because Queen of Pain supports extremely strong at level 2, quite limited at level 1, because you have to have the Shadow Strike or the Blink as opposed to both, and once you have both, there's Courier Sniping, there's ganking from, from out of fog, all sorts of things you can do, which... I mean, right now, if he had blink, he'd probably snap the career. Oh, yeah. And maybe find an opportunity for Pi here. But Pi's going to turn around, sap up some life back himself. And this is just not ideal for mid laners. And oh, Pi goes down. Fata, just a nice little mm, mm, orb walking forward is going to get the pick. And Pi is first to drop. I mean, that, that happens pretty frequently. But Secret will not get the nod this time. Yeah, it's, it's just Pi I die. I think, yeah, we we has farm is still looking pretty good, so Secret might be happy with how the lane's going. Shadowfiend started getting his farm, and actually there's this nightmare to set up possibly the double raise, but raise is only level one still, so I think if Shadowfiend's level three there, then he possibly goes for a kill. Okay, disperse now, two minute rune about to pop up. Puppy will be first on the scene there for the bottom one. It's the illusion rune here, so might be able to use that to get some extra instel, intel or mess with maybe uh, Jerex a bit. Top lane rune snagged up from Pi. We'll make his return back. Let's touch base here with the top lane though. It's off laner versus off laner. Darkseer taking on the timber saw now, and he's got the benefit of this ion shell. Where are things going for him? Top of CS. Well, I guess things are going pretty good. 12 and 1 to timber 7 and 1. Yeah, Timbersaw gets that extra regen by tanking the creeps, so he can probably stay in to handle the, the Iron Shell. He can't really 1v1 the Darks here, because if, if he actually takes him on, the Iron Shell damage itself is not giving him stacks, but oh, I Matama think he'll be fine. Oh, in a bit of trouble bottom lane here, Puppy flying up to the skies over and above. Looking for a, a hopeful splinter shot, this one will not connect on anybody, Matama will be able to salve up, and uh-oh. The Caffeine Warrior is running into a bit of trouble. It's a roaming Kuro, Queen of Pain, who hits him up with the Shadow Strike, and he's just going to have to take this long road out and around, and suddenly Fats is now up in his face. Tries to go down. Fats scouts him out. Oh, doesn't get the one orb connect. There it is, and Envy. It's a long road to death, but ultimately he does get dropped in the end. Oh, man. Two and that's the other old, old friends reunited thing, because we said Kuro versus Puppy, but Fats was also playing with Misery and... It's an ONV before this, so... Puppy. Easy takedown bottom lane, by the way. Just a simple setup from Jerex and a Spirit Lance. They knew backup wasn't there, and they take advantage of the support while mid lane. Kuro, Shadow Strike in, putting his roaming quap to work, and is going to get the kill. Uh-oh, things falling apart here early. Four secret, 4-0. Four and oh. And Mind Control doing work on top lane. This is a disaster across the board. At the start, at least. <laughs> yeah. 
last game also started pretty poorly for Secret. The, the one difference is that this game Secret Strap doesn't need to start well, whereas last game they had a Husqvar and it like really wanted to start well. It, it's still obviously not a good thing that they're behind, but they have all the tools to, to fight from behind this time. And V grabs himself a haste rune, and it looks like he's going to take his business now towards the top lane here, where there is mind control. As the mana for a surge, can Envy find the opportunity to move in and get the uh, chains here? He's going to look forward. He's juking through the trees. Mind control. Will he find his way out? There's going to be the surge. Chains? No, not yet. Not necessary. And they really don't need it. They got lots to set up here now with Pi involved. And I think mind control is going to be going down. And Secret will be getting themselves on the board. Kuro shows up, but it's a bit too late. He commits a blink, and he's only going to eat a little bit of damage for it. But Secret get their grab. Mind control really didn't have a safe way to go. And with chains kind of riding on your, you know, butt there from Envy. What more could you do? Yeah, so Liquid's uh, clean sheet will be dirty a little bit. They get a death there. And, I mean, I, I think they're pretty okay with that. Or just that the signal is that there's going to be a rotation. Now, Misery's probably going to move out of this top lane soon. Eternal Envy is unlikely to go back to that bot lane. Close, but not quite. Mm, him trying to find a home is not good. Ember Spirit, as we know, is one of those heroes that can really get punished in the early game and have a very hard time recovering and liquid have a, a great kind of draft where if they're able to take this kind of early game advantage it only makes their game that much easier someone's going to get a mech pretty damn fast and it looks like it may be fata he already has the headdress here and nearly 700 gold imagine this viper get an early mech they're going to come together and start pushing towers and i don't think secret are going to be ready for it Wee's, Wee's in so much trouble here, actually. He can't, I mean, if he gets caught by a Fata's ulti, he just dies. If he gets caught by a Shadow Strike, he dies. He he's, can't go into the river. Oh, no! Okay. They end up getting him down. They had a, what looked like an easy, easy setup to get a kill on the mind control. It didn't end up being as easy as it should have, but they still got him in the end. <laughs> oh, we are uh, runs out of the frying pan and maybe straight to the... Oh, oh actually... double raise! Matama Man forced to doppelganger and flee. We on pursuit. Dolly has the close range raise. Won't be able to get him here, and we'll have to let him go. That could have been a disastrous yeah. situation for him, but he lands those raises and has his own dominance. Yeah, it's, the ward's really doing the work because this ward at the bot lane showed him that they were coming for him. Also, the ward at the mid lane. That's the reason he didn't go forward and die once he was in the mid lane. And the three and Pala die going for an attempt on Fatsa. So it's gonna be close. It's a hard kill. He gets the wand, turns back, wants to go for Pi. Pi now might be in trouble himself as Kuro's there to help out, and it looks like this kill is not going to be happening. Misery will lose his own life. It's an unfortunate gank attempt there from Secret. They will lose two. Liquid will come out with a big win there. Viper is just really a tough cookie to crack, man, and he doesn't even have a whole lot. He had only the headdress, I believe, oh, at the time. Man. Puppy might be in trouble too. Hold uh, Embrace up, he gets the help from some... Wii. Yeah. Forces Matama back. Ooh. He's fine. I think Viper must be the number one hero to like turn ganks around when people gank it. It's just like such a dangerous hero to, to go for a kill on if you're not completely sure about your damage. Those are always the most disgusting heroes. Other heroes like that, like Undying, look, you know, it's just... You think you're gonna get him down, but they suddenly have like seven flesh stacks or something and then you're just losing. It's a terrible feeling, and you got to make sure you're well and prepared when you make engagements like that, and unfortunately, it just allows Liquid to put themselves that much further ahead. Fata is very, very close now to finishing out this mech. Misery has his arcane boots, but really doesn't have a whole lot of extra offer. Timbersaw could be very mana-hungry. Arcane boots are nice, but when you get that bloodstone, is maybe when you can start feeling a bit more comfortable. And it's, it's why so many uh, people complain about Viper being a boring hero, because usually you expect people to avoid it. Nobody wants to fight a Viper. Well, they're going to try and fight him again here, and this time they brought three heroes. I think it should be enough. There's two fights breaking out. This time they'll have enough to take down Fata. But on the other side, Liquid already made their move, making a jump on the puppy. So they will sacrifice one, but Weeha steps in and gets a beautiful snipe catch right there. On to Jerix. Make it three as they close out Matama Man suddenly. Nice turnaround from Secret. Yeah, and we are again, just like last game, making all the right moves. And it's, it's it's so funny because after they fail the gank on Viper, I'm pretty sure Fatsa is now thinking, these fools, they think they can gank a Viper. And then he it like makes him overconfident, and he takes the dangerous route to the rune, which is not usually the route you take, like on the enemy side of the river to the rune. 
I was like asking for trouble and secret already to say, look, we know Viper's difficult to kill, but we'll bring three heroes this time and you will go down. It's a big kill for them. Quite a big swing, actually. The Mentum Man needs to recognize also after being brought down that he is not a tanky guy. He's very, very frail at this point without completing out power treads or drums or anything yet. He's very susceptible to being bursted down fast. Couple of raises, a combo coming out from Misery, and you are in trouble. And even now, a Splinter Blast, it's not going to come easy. And if he gets a little too overconfident here, he could just as fast lose his life. So, as things settle down a bit, it looks like the... Actually, both the graphs are starting to favor Secret a little bit. So, early advantage for Liquid, really not much. And it's kind of petered out. Everything's sort of... Stabilizing, and I, I would say that that definitely favors secrets. I think that the pressure's on Liquid to get things done in this game. We'll see if Liquid are going to get the opportunity to do so. I agree with you. How's that mech coming along? He almost has it now. Would love to have it a bit quicker here. Secret maybe recognizing he doesn't have the mech yet. Could find an opportunity to engage here. There's a haste room waiting to be snagged up. And they're already looking for a kill. Quickly out, though. Kuro, not looking to get caught. Weeha will be able to step in, pick up that haste rune. And Fox is just like, oh, I need one more creep. One more creep, I'll get my mech. And boys, we can do it. We can maybe make some magic happen. My control yeah, needs more time, big. though. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, other heroes are all going to need time to get farmed, but the mech is pretty big if a fight breaks out. Even just for trying to gank the Viper. All of a sudden, you need... Nah, three's not even enough. You need four people. So it's definitely a big item, whether or not he sits still or not in the bot lane, it's gonna Winter's Curse and Bean Scrap oh, Elsewhere on the same hero, but there's yep. no follow up. And they can't get him down, Brain Sap's not gonna be enough! All for nothing right there. Puppy will, it will cost him his curse and his life, and they won't get anything for it. But maybe if they have any of their cores, diversion. I, I feel like Fiend's Grip or Winter's Curse, plus Timbers or Ember Spirit or Shadow Fiend, maybe not Ember Spirit, makes a kill. But it's it's just the two yeah. supports together with their two lockdowns, it's not enough damage. Yeah, no, I agree. And maybe just feeling like it was not necessary or enough, they, they found more value in taking the farm elsewhere, it looks like. Misery already has a point booster, so his farm is oh, trucking along gonna get here. Oh, he's going to get Oh, he's hu he's hustling in, and it looks like he will. Oh, nice raise catch. Turn back Spirit Lance, and oh, it looks like he might not be able to get away with it. Scott Free, he goes down. Gold yeah. will be split, and now they want more. Looking to make a move on the pile I die. Kuro is able to catch up with the blink. He tries to sidestep with the sleep, and with the rotation coming in, Puppy oh, ends up canceling it, but it's enough to divert them away. They will not pursue. Yeah, in the mean, I mean, we are wouldn't have wanted to die for that kill. It's not the worst thing that could happen, but it did look like he might have gotten it with the haste and with without dying for it. So, I think a victory for Liquid overall. Puppy has oh, been slipped on the stolen map. Yeah, he'll pull it back. But he still you. needs more, and yeah, no one wants to engage there. Kuro may be close enough, but didn't want to pull the trigger. Bots are now mid lane. They have the mech. They have the mech. Liquid may be coming together here. Looks like that's the case. They're migrating towards this mid lane. This may be their time. Put the pedal to the frickin' metal here. You don't want Secret getting out of control. Envy Ember, late game. I I bid caution. I've seen this guy pull games back with Rapiers many a time. So this is Liquid's time to go. I just want... I, Misery's almost out of mana, so that's probably gonna help them push this tower, but I... I almost wonder if it's worth it for Liquid to group up and push, because there's spam from the Winter Wind and the Timber Souls to push them back. And in the meantime, yep. Ember Spirit and Shadowfiend are both getting farmed. The trade off seems very favorable to Secret for me. They have a wonderful balance of they have that wave, wave clear in their backstaff that they can just kind of take care of the lanes themselves. And you know, Secret had that kind of lineup where it's like, we expect that eventually you'll take down our tier 1s and maybe even tier 2s. Where we really peak is by the time we're possibly even defending the high ground and looking to wipe your team out. Without even a tier 1 taken down yet, I mean, bottom tier 1's pretty low. I'd say that the agenda is not working out so well yet for Team Liquid. Maybe they value that they need a little bit more. You see Arcane Boots now coming out, so they have more sustain. But not yet. They're looking to kind of move forward with the game plan. Well, that top lane, Kuro's hiding here, and I've... I, d I doubt the two of them can make a kill and 
I don't want to be on their own. Doesn't look like he's a remnant out. Now he does. <laughs> Drops down, slide of fist change. Kuro eating a lot of damage here and almost gives Envy a freebie. But rotation from Bane and a step back. And then everything will be diffused a bit. Maybe Secret will look to transition this. Some of them heading towards the top lane. But Weeha finds his place back. Now, more or less of the same. He's also going to be going for a Shadow Blade build up on his Shadow Fiend. Something we've been seeing a lot from him recently. But allows him opportunities to engage, obviously disengage, and avoid fights if they want to continue to kind of stall things out and play the economy game. They certainly could. Yeah, the really nice thing about Shadow Blade on Shadow Fiend is the hero does so well farming the jungle. So there's good reason for it to be off the map even when it's not going for you. So it sits around in the jungle and once the Shadow Blade's been spotted, your whole team has to be constantly aware of could Shadow Fiend just like one shot me at this ulti, even though he might just be farming the jungle and I, I think having that implicit threat, it's almost like when you have a Klinks on your team, anytime you're off the map they have to be paranoid about you. Yeah. And we'll see. I mean, you can see a little bit of paranoia right now with Mind Control way far back, even behind the Tier 2. Heads his way back there now, but uh, even then, he's like, I don't know, a lot missing from the map. I don't know how comfortable I feel about this. Secret not really showing themselves at all anywhere. Misery gets the deny on the tower, but outside of that, everyone else is just kind of hiding in the dark. I think we wants to kill someone. He's got a haste in his bottle, and he's got a shadow blade. Yeah, he's going to go in that bottle, and they've actually got a sentry up, so he could get himself killed, yeah. Let's see, Dire Courier actually going down in the meantime, but we see we now, actually he's the one in trouble, walks into a sentry, gets lifted up, and taken down. All in a day's work. Yeah, that is that is the downside of rushing Shadow Blade. When the enemy team is prepared with a sentry ward, you, you feel like a bit of an idiot, because you're still quite squishy. And they lost their Courier as well, so that's a double bonus right there for Liquid. A big core takedown, or... The courier takedown, and now they can feel a bit more influenced. Maybe it's time to start moving forward, take some tier ones here. Midas, the next pick up here for Fata, it's done, it's back at home. But going down that more greedy road and looking to play a bit of catch up with Secret and how they want to, you know, take it into the later game. Yeah, I, I think he's just being realistic here. There isn't an option for Liquid to group up with the mech and force down buildings. But they do have a bit of a lead here, and they can try and extend that lead if they can keep the farm up. I mean, you were just casting before this series, the richest Viper of all time, right? <laughs> yeah, right. That was G. And he, I don't know, did he even use a Midas in that game? No, no Midas. It's the first Vitus Viper I've seen today. It was, just, oh. it was just a crazy, crazy long game, and he just took the opportunity to farm. If he had to travel his slow butt all the way up to the top lane, and there was no kill there, he would farm his way there and back. So it just seemed like he was... Very persistent with the last hits, so this is, it was a treat to see. If you didn't see it at home, you should definitely go check out the VOD. Um, but back we are, 9-6. to six. Liquid kind of given these small opportunities and little kills inside to the side have yet to really, really push on forward. Yet to take really any significant tower rush. I mean, they got the one on the bottom, but it was denied. And yet to work towards any additional towers, I guess, just taking the time to farm up themselves. I mean, Tom Man's sitting on 2.1k right now, so is it straight to defusal for him? Uh, the, the farming build usually goes to Yasha first, so it, considering they went Midas on Viper, I feel like maybe likely that we see the, the Yasha, but I mean, there's, there's certainly nothing wrong with going for the defusal blade, just probably signals that they're going to make a move a bit quicker then. Well. Liquid, obviously, then very comfortable with how the game is pacing out for now. Misery getting closer and closer to a, a Bloodstone. I'm sure he would love to turn it up a bit, adding charges. And in Weeha's case, are we expecting a, a BKB? But, but Or is that not necessary? You're going against the pure damage of Queen of Pain. You got a Viper Strike. Maybe you can just continue to build into damage. There's still a lot of spell damage with the Viper's Poison, the Scream of Pain, the PL Lance, Doxy's Iron Shell, so he might want to be heavy anyway. Either that or SNY, he's definitely in a bulk up either way. And interestingly, Weeha, after the you know initial reveal of the Shadow Blade, runs into the Sentry Ward, hasn't actually made gone for any kills since like, almost like the reverse effect where now he's a bit paranoid. 
And you can definitely, there's, there's a potential to reverse, usually Shadow Fiends in pubs, or even in professional games, you get the Shadow Blade, if they don't have True Sight, you can just snowball, keep making kills, but if they have True Sight and you keep running into it, it stops, so that happens, and that's a death oh, for Misery in the mid lane. Yeah, One he was far in the mid lane, we and them were nearby, but then they kind of backed out, maybe they felt confident that he would be able to be good on his own, but a lot of Liquid members there just kind of grab a hold of Timber Saw and they do not let go. And now Liquid are finding their opportunity to make it go into the mid tier 1 tower here. Sleep's being traded around secret as they kind of gather a bit. Puppy is here with Curse at the ready. But secret just doing their best to clear out the wave, which they do get. And it will kind of force Liquid back. Yeah, pilot, I was considering going for the Fiend's Grip, but recognizing the Rubik's there, there's no points. He's just going to give it away and get it cancelled. All the while, mm. Eternal Envy's been farming. And I do feel like this is kind of the state of the game where oh, top lane, we are actually trying to kill Silverman, yeah. It isn't a sentry, but he does have an ally now. Oh, and Weeha ends up showing himself. They got the Fiend's Grip here. Mind Control has to get there for the vacuum. Gets it off in time. Requiem goes out, but PL already did a doppelganger. Curse is on the illusion. And now that means Mattel make it open up on Weeha, but Weeha will live from that skirmish. Fauna shows up, though, gets the cleanup kill there. Now Envy has shown up with the boots of travel and is hoping to clean house here for Secret. Will he be able to, though? Now lift it up. Jarek shows himself. He's gonna have to rent it right back out from trouble. Puppy's gonna be left behind, sure to go down here. And Misery also late to re-enter into the party. Will be taken down. It's a huge fight for Liquid. Long-winded one. Now, everyone participating. Eventually, though, Envy's like, this isn't going so well. I'm back bottom now. And this means Liquid will be able to follow this up with a tier one takedown at top. We may even see them continue on forward and plant some nice aggressive wards. Get some good decision making from Liquid and Getting into that kind of fight, I mean, I, I think for quite a while it's been the case that Liquid are going to win 5v5 fights. The reason that grouping up as 5 is problematic is because it's too easy for Secrets to just push them back and split push. But if Secret are the ones saying, hey, let's take a fight, Liquid are always going to all TP there and, and take that fight to the stage in the game. Not going well for Secret as it is right now. MV continues to do work here in the bottom lane. Liquid have put their attention towards mid to finish out the last tier 1 tower. Lots of bold, gold bonus coming for their whole team. You're going to see Jarex very soon with a Blink Dagger even on his Rubik. Kuro's been saving a lot of gold. Looks like he's going to be going for an Agnums here on this Queen of Pain. This is a support Queen of Pain, mind you. And now Metalman maybe looking for an opportunity to go up mid lane here. Does some work on the Puppy. They sidestep back out. Pilot I also up in arms here with Kuro. They trade. It forces Envy to TP in. And Liquid possibly looking to disengage at this point. Happy enough to kind of force Envy out from his farm. Yep, and it looks like they will step away. We're doing a really good job to protect themselves from Weha's Shadow Blade. Running around, put, setting up sentries each time they're in a fairly dangerous position, just making sure. And it, it kind of neutralizes the effect of the Shadow Blade as a pickup. I want to say a, sure an can... interesting pick uh, was going to be this Darkseer picking up a Glimmer Cape. You don't see that very often. Normally, you know, he commits for the blink first, but he got Glimmer first. Now he at least he has a blink. And then you normally you can see them build into something thereafter. A, a Lotus, Crimson, some other maybe form of utility. A Sheep as a luxury, but he stepped off early for the Glimmer Cape. And I guess it doesn't really matter, but they haven't utilized him for initiation yet. And now he'll have a blink ready to go. Yeah, it's, I think that they want Rubik to probably go for blink. And obviously the support co-op has like core co-op items to buy into. So if they want a Glimmer Cape to help against the focus from the Bane ult or the Wyvern ult, makes sense for the Darkseid to be the one to buy it. The Liquid grab a smoke and I think uh, they're going to be formulating a game plan here soon after Kuro is going to be finishing up his Agnum Scepter here. Very close. It could go on the move since Fata. Picking up the Midas, going down that greedy road. He's already finished out the Yasha here. Probably looking to grab the full SMY soon. Pretty damn close. 1,700 gold here. Pi is going to run to Jerex. They drop wards across the board, and now they're going to have the pullback, but oop, Jerex knows trouble's nearby. Pilot I will commit the Nightmare here onto Jerex. My control's going to be waiting in case someone wants to engage. Fata is going to make a go onto Puppy. They're splitting up the fight. Well, Pi waits in the Roche pit here. There's help nearby if necessary, but... It looks like Secret are going to be the first Radiance to pull out. Yeah, they just want to kill Top Tower. And we already see that Bane's heading there to try and 
support the Shadow Fiend. I, I don't know if this is a two hero kill to make though. Even with the Fiend's grip, there's not enough mana for the Requiem. Looks like Secret knew that Liquid were still waiting nearby, trying to have Misery go out in front, but gonna no try. one's going to show themselves. Yeah, they tried to head in there and get Kuro, but Kuro blinked out just in time. Deny of the Illusion oh, Rune and heads out the other way. Top lane, we see the back end of it. Fata getting sapped up there. Full Fiend's Grip committed, plus the Weeha right clicks. No Requiem necessary. They were able to yeah, get the Pesky Viper down. He had no mana, that's why I wasn't sure if they could make that kill, but Fiend's Grip is a really long disable, and plus the sap, plus the right clicks to the trick. Good work from them, they're going to be rewarded by being able to finish off this tier 1 tower in the top lane. And they're on the verge of trying to get themselves economically back in this game. We look at the graph, it's still heavily in the favor of Liquid here, who are on the chase. Ooh, Mind Control's going to be forced to hide out, he's spotted. But... These are steps in the right direction for Secret. The longer they hold out, the game gets a bit better and a bit easier for them. Misery has his Bloodstone ready to go now. And, uh, well, it's an S and Y done on Wii. Ember Spirit's down, but his Battle Fury is complete. So these are big items all on the side of Secret. Yeah, I think Secret would be more than happy with the position they find themselves in. Each time Liquid starts to look threatening for a while, then like it dies down, then they look threatening, then it dies down. But if that's going to be the pace of the game, then it does feel inevitable that Secret will, will be able to make a comeback. I think Liquid needs to at some point hit, you know, a patch of control that, that's, that holds the momentum and keep, continues to apply the pressure rather than just bits and pieces. I mean, their response for the late game is, of course, having Matumum in here on your PL. He's got the essentials done early with your reliable and trusty Yasha. Diffusal already complete. He has a Manta soon on his way, if that's something he's looking to do. But even after that, he still might need a bit more. It's just the PL going against the Ember Factor, you know? And now with the Cleave done... I mean, thank goodness they banned out that Magnus. If they had a Magnus on that team, oof, this PL would have a hard, hard time, but... I just imagine as the damage would continue to build up here for Envy, this PL doesn't pose the craziest threat, but we'll see. I could be wrong. Liquid could have something in store. We're shaping up for potential 5v5. There's a couple heroes smoked up on the Liquid side. Nobody smoked up on Secret, but they were all grouped up, just like covering the Ancients. I guess they're concerned about the Ancients being contested and it's in Envy being ganked. With the high ground advantage, they could protect it. And now as Liquid show themselves here, Secret is waiting in that same lane in the back, but it's probably not to engage. They're just kind of having Envy out in front and awaiting any sort of opportunity to Liquid show themselves. Maybe towards the bottom half of this map. So it's a lot of safety farm here for Wii, who is the highest net worth on Secret right now. Just barely trailing behind Fata and his Viper. So he is continuing to find just big openings for himself, and next thing you know, this Shadow Fiend will be a big, big problem here for Liquid. I mean, have a mech, have all the sustain you want, but I don't know, eventually this damage is just going to burst right through him. Yeah, and with the control from the both the Fiend's Grip and the Winter's Curse, it's a scary thing actually for Liquid, forcing these fights. It depends a lot on their darks here, controlling the fight for them. Weeha again, <laughs> Hoping to get an opportunity to burst out Fatso with his ulti, ends up just backing up and TPing out. Well, they use this time to smoke instead. Maybe they don't wager he's going to still be around in that top lane. Liquid, though, already out from that bottom part of the map. They're already back near the mid lane. It looks like, what are they doing? They're trying to smoke themselves. That five on fight you're talking about may be coming here very shortly. Liquid are possibly going to be in the neighborhood here to go for this Roche. There's no sentry down from Secret here. Fata just shows his ugly viper face anyways and walks in, doesn't know Pai is actually there. Glimmered up, Requiem from the side, and Matama Man's gonna be able to sidestep it, vacuum back into a wall. This is bad for Secret. Oh, and then there flies the Kuro Sonic Wave, and that cleans out the rest. Envy's gonna try his best, is able to slash on through and get the kill, taking down the Rubik here, making it a two for two. Misery sweeping in from behind, trying to clear house and get a hold of Matamba Man on the other side. Kuro also gonna be dropped. Envy gets a two for. And they're now taking this fight right back. And, yep, mind control. Tries to surge away, but boom, making it a triple. Turtle Envy. Now suddenly. 36, 3700 gold. Not not good now for Liquid. They get nearly wiped out. 
Secret could come back together, get this Roche down, and it, it's looking like Liquid may be passing that peak if PL is not going to be able to pick it up. Very strange series of events because I feel like Secret are hoping that with its own IV going to that top lane, Liquid won't suspect that they're rushing. Liquid kind of like read the bluff, go straight to rush. Secret looked like they were panicking at first. Weha ran away with the Shadow Blade. Misery tried to chain out and missed his chain. Then they got forced to fight and Eternal Envy comes back in and joins the fights and somehow managed to sort of salvage it. I, I think it's just that Liquid were inefficient at taking heroes down early on in the fights. They still got a decent ulti, bunch of burst damage from the Winter Wyvern and the Timber Sword. By the time Eternal Envy arrived, everyone who was there from Liquid was, was low already. Now you're looking at a much stronger secret squad. Got the opportunity to kind of accelerate their game plan that much faster. They'll be able to follow it up, get the Aegis here. Liquid are nearby, but not looking to get into any sort of confrontation now. And we'll have to see. Secret may not even use this Aegis offensively. They could still, you know, tire out this game a bit longer and feel a bit more secure about the farm Envy could put together for himself along with Wii. And Liquid just may need to just try to be desperate in finding an opportunity. One shows itself mid lane where they make a jump on the pie, but quick turnaround curse comes out from Puppy. Fata makes chase on him. He decides to sidestep, and this is where they're a bit frantic on their targets. They're all over the place, and that means we could just sweep on in and get a quick and easy takedown of Jerix. And now Fata to be caught out. There's a Fiend's grip. The right clicks come through. He'll be going down. It's back to back takedowns, it looks like, from Liquid here. And again, another opportunity where they make a committed jump. And he does not, they do not find a proper target, mind control now even. It's looking like deja vu from the last fight now. Matama Man's going to be the lone survivor, but Envy comes out. Huge win, another fight concludes, and he has another 37, near 3,700 gold. Yeah, it's a, pretty much a disaster for Team Liquid. Like, they, after two fights in a row, I almost feel like, yeah, well, certainly they're now behind. They weren't behind up until this point in the game, they're now very clearly behind. And it's going to be uphill battle for the rest of the game. They're going to need to do... I, I don't know, there's just... Viper doesn't really have versatility as a hero. He does very Not specific things. Point. Maybe, Maybe the Darkseer. I... Radiant structures are fortified. Like, yeah, that high ground could... Darkseer plays, those vacuum walls, that that <laughs> that would be the a step in the right direction here for Liquid. Still a lot of towers for Secret to have to chew through, but... I don't know when Liquid feel like it might be the right time to go for it. Mid, again, they're going to make an attempt to set up again. Telekinesis, there's the Sonic Wave. Misery gets the help with the Glimmer Cape and a Force Staff to get him out to safety into the cold embrace of Puppy. Now, showing up. Mind Control looking to get involved here. Does have the Vacuum Wall. Vacuum's back for Wii. Not looking to commit the wall just yet. Meanwhile, on the other side, Envy will begin to engage now after Kuro gets to clean up onto Misery. But look at Wii and Matama Man going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Wii might not survive for this fight, but he's got that Aegis to fall back on. And with that, him and Envy could look to clean up Liquid if possible. And they got the Winter's Curse. Very nicely done from the low ground of Puppy here. Could force Liquid back. Pi gets a Fiend's Grip on the Fatsa. It's more of a defensive one, I guess, to hold him back. A stolen Fiend's Grip. Got to get canceled, though. And Secret trying to get the hell back. But Pi will be the one, unfortunately, in the bad situation here. But hey, Envy saves an opportunity. Jumps in, gets a kill on Jerix, and steps right back out. Nice snag for him. It's a win for Liquid, they got rid of the Aegis and then one support for another, but I feel like it's <laughs> it's really impressive that Secret didn't lose anyone else because it was a mess of a fight for them. Weha was sort of standing at the tower saying, I've got Aegis, I'm going to try and bait them, and Fatsa just did not take the bait. He walked past Weha, went and zoned Eternal Envy, zoned the supports, and so Secret were fighting in a very awkwardly split up way. It looked like it could have been a really bad fight for them, and then they only lose the Aegis and one support, and I think they'll be very happy about that. Mind control scouting out Envy here. He's hoping to catch Envy maybe TPing away or something, but he's just passing through. Continues his farm, his pattern through the jungle. Mind control will pick up for this top lane push as it stands right now. And Secret going to be set back a little bit from that, but I'm still not confident that's going to be really enough for Liquid to be able to kind of push past the river and begin to approach the Secret base in due time, which for their overall game plan, they still essentially need to do. Secret just seem to have a much higher scaling team. And so Liquid still going to be pressed for time. Turno Envy now has the Daedalus, and with every new item, it just seems 
personally is likely Liquid can win the game. Um, they, they do have pick, pick, pick potential. Rubik's got Blink with the instant lift, and Dark has got Blink and on his way to Hex as well. But the thing is, if, if Puppy is like paying attention or nearby at the time, there's actually no way they kill the Ember Spirit with the Winter Wyvern protecting him. Looks like they might get a snag on the Jerex. They make it look easy. He just jumps in, gets the quick snip, and Jerex will go down. And it's turning into one of those kind of Ember games here for Envy. And, uh, you know, obviously very different than what we saw from a Huskar game just previous. This time, very comfortable. All going to plan for him, and he can just begin to farm, farm, farm. And it's the ball is in Liquid's court to try to do something about it. Yeah, I think that Envy has played, well, I think he's played Huskar a number of times in pubs before. We haven't seen him play it that many times in officials, but... Yeah, part of it is that he had a poor performance last game. I also feel like anyone who has a, such a terrible start on Huskar is just like gonna get in your head because your hero feels a bit pointless. Whereas, yeah, yeah, as you say, he's in his comfort zone. He's this is exactly how Ember Spirit controls the game. Everything's going according to plan for him. Ooh, unfortunate miss right there on the vacuum. They're not gonna be able to get the snag on the misery who will make his way out and they're. Begin to play the game very kind of cheeky here, almost alliance esque on how they're you know able to kind of pressure all those side lanes a bit and retreat at a moment's notice. It's you know when they want to take a fight. We're not going to take a fight till we feel we're ready, till we have that extra item ready to go. Whether it's Weeha finishing out that butterfly, or whether it's Arteezy picking up a, an MKB or something next to add maybe an extra bit of hard hitting damage, then they know that they can go in with very little trouble. But, that's gonna be a heart the Matuba man's building towards next. But I feel like it's it's ultimately just futile. Like sure, tank up, but Ember Spirit's damage is gonna scale at a quicker rate than your tank ability. And that's one of the main reasons people say that you don't pick PL into Ember Spirit. I spoke about how PL maybe can peak early and before Ember Spirit has that farm, but we're past that point. It's not gonna happen anymore. The Ember Spirit is going to be countering the Phantom Lancer for the rest of the game. Unless they can burst down the Ember Spirit, it's it's difficult to imagine Liquid winning big fights or taking objectives. And they, they're only going to do that if Winter Wyvern or Bane or whatever is on there. Because we've got a 4 stop on Timbersaw, 4 stop on Bane. And of course Winter Wyvern with the Glimmer Cape and Cold Embrace can always save it to an Envy. Well, my control has put together a Sheep Stick. That's nice. Envy's really quick to get out though. But if he's not quick to get out and my control is able to get there with a snappy Sheep Stick, Envy could find himself in a bit of trouble. But again, he just continues to play it safe. Already he's on the bottom part of the hemisphere here, farming it up. And Liquid will have to shuffle the way through. And you know, they need to continue to go on the aggressive. If they're hoping for a solid high ground defense, uh, it's not going to come anytime soon. And when Secret decide to make that kind of a push, they may have just kind of swallow you up in the economy department. And they're going to be way farmed, way more farmed. So we'll see Secret, the slow, painful game here. They're going to be able to get this tier two. And without Liquid having everyone on hand, even Fata here now could be in a little bit of trouble. Mind Control is going to be nearby, but Secret have their eyes on the prize and that's taking down the tier two. They got it. Yeah, it's, I mean, at some point I feel like the time that Fata bought his Midas, I thought it made sense. They're going to just like edge their control of the game further and further ahead. But now I'm thinking about it, I don't know, maybe maybe that approach tells you that they were in two minds about their draft in the first place. Like, were they planning to go kind of late? Oh, Curl. Yeah, he's caught in a curse. And quick work of him. 19 to 19 now. Game even, but if you're trying to base Dota on a game of just kill score, you're going to possibly be in for a rude awakening here. This is definitely Secret's game right now as they push on towards a 8k net worth advantage it's already 12k plus in the xp department and they have this ember spirit not one now but two battle furies the double cleave coming out for him yeah it's like making a point about okay you pick phantom lance into ember spirits i'm going to teach you a lesson because it's not very common to go for the second battle fury but definitely when you're against illusions it makes good sense to go for that approach Now we'll see the precious Roche gonna be highly contested here secret I feel pretty confident about it. They already had it scouted out up 30 seconds. They'll be at the ready liquid in the neighborhood Oh Fata, he thinks he's simply gonna be farming up some creeps, but misery will show himself here Gem now picked up long fiends grip though onto Jarek's here and Jarek should be going down will go down 
Secret might just take that and walk back to Roche. But they want more. Double Remnant all the way in here. Coming out slight. They're going to catch him with the Sheep. A big pullback here. Wall now committed. Requiem, though, going to be flying out. And this might be Secret's time here. If they could sidestep this wall. Matama Man. Thinking about creeping in. Yeah, they don't in, have but Puppy's ult yet. I think Stigo would have forward spared Puppy's ult here. I guess we're just in pursuit, hoping for another quick pick, but like we were there at the ready and had a good hold. The, the mind control interjection there, getting off the quick sheep at a respectable vacuum and wall was a good way to hold, but that means they won't have that available now. And uh, Roche, very easy here for Secret. There's a Dox there, looking over Envy's shoulder, he's got the Hex, but he doesn't have the backup he needs to make kill you. Yeah. He'll plant down a ward, hopefully out of vision for himself. I thought maybe he would just be ambitiously bleaking in and trying to get something set up, but... They're hoping now to catch Envy farming on his way out. But he's actually back in lane, they'll see that now. Are they gonna be able to get to him in time? It's uh, hard when you're gonna blink Ember Spirit, you know? Yeah. Envy really gets caught that way. It's, it's. I think one of the things that distinguishes him as an Ember Spirit player. When you watch it, it seems so simple, but it's, actually, it's. There's a lot of potential to get picked off. You need to know the exact timings of, you know, how much time spent in a lane, how many people see on the map before you jump away. It's so nice having that blink as well to make things a bit easier. Now you can rev it out, blink in, and make the slights happen, and then still be able to jump back. Now they try to make Kamita go into Fata, but it was quick canceled as they turn back for Pi. Stolen Fiends grab a tasty own medicine, gonna be thrown right back his way. But Kuro now getting the hefty right click, a raise to fly through, and Weeha's gonna get that kill. Envy has made his appearance known now, TPing in. The curse is gonna be out for Puppy. And now Fata and company are in a bit of trouble here. Oh man. Envy now just slaughtering it home with the slide of fist. He has. Begun to make his move now onto Matama Man, who is one of the lone survivors here. They don't have quite enough catch here, but Envy's looking to move in. No chains yet. Has it now. Matama Man's going to be going down. Doppelganger attempting to make his way on through. My control. Oh, they both go down. Five man wipe for Liquid Secret. Lose only their bane. Radiance top tower is under yeah, attack. and Eterno Envy is, I think, beyond godlike now. Looking pretty good. He definitely got the godlike in that fight. I wasn't sure if it was to be on. Not really a big deal. Feels like it's academic now for the rest of the game. It's... Yeah. Not a lot to see over here. Liquid could even be already, you know, thinking about game number three and what to get ready for here, but it's looking like a secret game through and through. One, Maybe one more possible hurrah here. Coming out from Liquid in about 20 seconds time. They still need another 20 on top of that though. For Matumba man. And Envy's already made his move. And before he can even see what the hell's actually happening. Jerex goes down. Just after these racks will be soon to follow. And we'll see if Secret yeah. just... We'll keep the party going and go for a tier 2 mid. Bane and Winter Wyvern both have their LTs back up now. So it's just... Yeah, I, I can't... I don't know what needs to happen for Liquid to win a fight here. Even with the high ground advantage, even if their whole team's alive, which they aren't going to be. Cheeky plays to kind of hold Fata back, but a glyph will be forced out as their tier 3 is in jeopardy here in the mid lane. But some man now back in action here. Doppelganger forward. Secret, will they play it safe? Looks like they may. They'll just pull back. They're not looking to engage any longer here. Weeha's got his precious satanic now. Step back, itemize a bit further here. I mean, Envy's... Almost near 5k, no big deal. And, uh, you know, Liquid, it's it's beginning to be do or die at this point for them. Yeah, it's it's one way to make sure you don't screw up when you're going high ground. Just, like, don't go high ground. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure Secret are strong enough to do it, but there's no pressure on them to do it. It's not like things are getting worse. You can wait for another rush. There's nothing mm -hmm. that Liquid can do about it. If they want to contest rush, then they're having a, a fight away from their high ground. And that's a fight you're definitely going to win. And what's at stake here is, you know, Secret already started off their group stage run, dropping uh, a series 0-2 to Vega. That was yesterday, but they know they really need a win here against Liquid. Liquid also down a series, down two series. So a loss here, and I mean, they're definitely going to be out, unfortunately, of Star Series run. So it's a very important game for them. And Secret obviously don't want to be caught in the kind of same situation being down two, so... I don't know. Looking a bit grim here for Liquid fans. 
We'll see if they'll be able to hold out again. Still always have the vacuum wall factor. Matumbo Man does continue to farm. He already had that heart. He has Manta, Diffusal. You know, could afford to get a little bit more, but I don't think the time is going to be given. I wonder if they, they actually weren't even waiting for us. They just wanted Puppy to finish Lotus Orb because all that single focus that was a potential to, to control it's an Envy now. Lotus Orb's going to protect him from it. Ooh, Envy does miss the chain setup there. The rest of them decide to go instead for Fata. It looks like they are going to be able to take him down. And there you can see Jerex now possibly going to be caught out. They look to move back in. They commit in the curse and everything. And this looks like to be the beginning of the end. Kuro, a respectable Sonic wave, but not going to be enough to finish anyone off. One goes down. Kuro then follows. Buyback going to have to be used here from Fata. But he comes back to death and destruction here. One by one, they try to sneak in. Now Fata finds himself asleep. Secret do their job and... Now they turn around and just simply walk away. Uh, looking for the closeout yet. Oh, Motomo Man actually commits in. They're looking to go for him here. She was to pop out from Misery. They're going to be able to isolate him. Backing back from Mind Control, but doesn't seem to matter too much. Motomo Man. Ooh, Glimmer Cape. Going to make him back it away here. But this is Secret's fight. And they're looking to muscle on through. Liquid. A valiant effort, but nonetheless, scant. It's, it's going to be the same outcome here. Yeah, I think the the last pick Thundersaw was really, really good by Secret in this game. Because mm -hmm. I, I, you got to think that Liquid's plan was to win the game reasonably early. Um, to capitalize on the fact that the PL can actually be very useful early on and push with that Viper. But with the Thundersaw, we saw as, as soon as Liquid started pushing early on, the Thundersaw was just holding them back. Then it became a farming game, and then as soon as it became a farming game, I feel like it became Secret's game. And you know, gotta give credit where it's due, you know, I went into it thinking that maybe Secret's intention was to definitely get that Magnus, which had been banned out, and they just kind of, I don't want to say as far as settled, but they just landed on a Timber Saw, something we don't get to see Misery play very often. And he well, did Mag his job, been, and things went very well. Mag would have been hard to push into as well, so either way, it's, I mean, makes sense as a ban there too. Yeah, yeah. Well, as it stands, an exhausting game.